welcome to your Pilates slide class. These classes are a combination of sort of an at-home megaformer workout with a Pilates mat workout. We sort of focus on one muscle group at a time, but we flow continuously through the class. Now, because we mix mat work with sliding work, you will need a dish towel or something that allows you to slide. So hardwood floors, dish towel is great. If you're working out on carpet, paper plates work great, magazine covers, get creative. One note, um, at the end, we will have both hands on our slider. So if you're using a towel, that's great. All you have to do is unfold it and it'll be wide enough. But if you are using paper plates, you might want two on hand so that you can have one hand on each. And one more thing on setup, um, so that I stay in the frame of the camera, I will be sort of having my mat down and then folding it up to get it out of the way. But so that you can quickly move through this class, I would just have your mat down and then have a small area where you can slide next to it. That'll probably be easiest. The overarching theme of today's class is sort of stabilizing while our limbs move away from midline and back into midline. So you're going to see that in different forms throughout the whole workout. To give you a broad roadmap of class so that you know what to expect. We're going to start with a quick warm up on the mat and that'll take us into some core activation work. From there, we're going to focus on the left leg for a while, really the left side of the body for the, a while. We'll do some glute bridge work. We'll come to standing for some sliding leg work, and then we will come into some oblique work. We then repeat that whole chunk on the right. From there, we'll come down to our mat for some prone work. Again, using the slider, we'll mix in a little tricep work when we get there. I will guide you through everything as we go, so do not worry about that. And we won't need our glider right away, so you can just put your towel off to the side. And let's start with a warm up. So I want you to start seated, knees bent, feet in front of you, hands can be on your shins. And I want you to sit up nice and tall. Now, from here, big inhale, expanding through the rib cage. And then as you exhale, I want you to start to knob the chin, hands slide down your shins, and I want you to just roll forward. Stay here for another big inhale. Feel that expansion across your mid back as you do. Exhale out through the mouth. And then inhale to roll up, stacking your spine back up tall. Let's do that again as you exhale. Nod the chin, round forward, hands slide down your shins. Pause at the bottom for a deep breath. And on an inhale, articulate the spine back up to seated. Let's do that one final time. Exhale, nod the chin, round forward over those legs. Big inhale to feel the expansion across your mid back. And on your next inhale, you're gonna stack the spine back up tall, reach your arms forward, palms face in towards each other. We're gonna come into a little bit of a twist. So on an inhale, your right arm is going to open up, twisting to the right. Exhale, bring it back to center. Let's take it over to the left. Inhale, twist, growing taller as you do. Exhale, back to center. Keep going side to side. So the twist is coming from your spine, not your shoulder. So your hand stays in your peripheral vision. One more in each direction. Now from center, I want you to reach your arms up overhead, palms face forward. Don't lose connection with your rib cage so we're not flaring open. And then as you exhale, you're gonna sweep the arms down and back behind you. They can come wide a few inches away from your body so that the floor isn't in the way. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, sweep them back. Now it might feel really challenging to stay upright as you do this. If you need to, you can come to a cross-legged position instead of having knees bent with your feet in front of you. Next time those arms sweep back, hold them back, tent the fingertips, lean back a little bit, separate your feet wider, and I just want you to windshield wiper side to side, dropping the knees over to the right and over to the left staying open through your collarbones as you do this. So a little internal external rotation of the hips. One more time each side. And then feet plant at center, sit up tall one more time. And then as you exhale, I want you to start to roll the pelvis away from your thighs, vertebrae by vertebrae, come all the way down to the mat. We're gonna come into some core work. 
We're going to keep our head down on the mat to start, arms down by our side. Make sure you are neutral through the low back so you do have that natural curve there. And we're going to try to support this neutral shape by engaging through our abdominals. Now we're going to start by keeping our left foot down on the mat. And on an exhale, I just want you to bring your right knee up to tabletop, foot can be flexed. Real simple to start. On an exhale, you're gonna press that leg forward. Inhale, bring it back to tabletop. Exhale, push, bring it in. So we're starting simple to establish the pattern and then we will increase the intensity of it as we go. So I want you to think breath first, start the exhale, feel the engagement through your lower abdominals, then that leg starts to move. Inhale back in. Now just check in on your left knee quickly. Is it wobbling side to side at all? We're thinking of stabilizing through this leg as we go. So really ground down through the foot. Now next time you press that right leg straight, I want you to hold it elongated. We're gonna shift it to the right, and then you're going to exhale, bring it back into midline. Inhale, leg shifts to the right. It doesn't have to be a huge shift. Exhale, back to midline. Now let's check back in on that stabilizing left side. As the leg shifts out, the right leg shifts to the side, does your left knee want to wobble? Let's think about connecting into our inner thighs. So without actually moving the leg, just think inner thighs engaged. Three more. Last time. And then I want you to bend the right knee in. Now from here, I want you to bring your left knee up to meet it. So both knees are hovering at tabletop. Hands are gonna come behind your head and we're gonna come into an ab curl position. Now you're not jamming your chin into your chest. You are rounding up and over something. I want you to take your left arm and reach it up towards the ceiling. Now our right leg, left arm are going to extend out on an exhale. Inhale, bring it in to start. Right leg pushes forward as the left arm extends overhead, bring it back in. Now I want you to check in, where are your knees? Try to keep them over your hips, not your belly button. I always catch myself doing that. So that is a reminder for myself as well. So you're using your right hand to support your head and neck here. But if it needs more support, just put both hands behind your head. Now coming up, you know where we're going. Next time you extend that right leg straight and the left arm overhead, hold. Now from here, you're going to shift the right leg out to the right, exhale, back into midline. Keep that going. Don't worry about how low the leg is. If you go too low, you might feel this in your low back. We don't want that low back to peel up towards the ceiling too much. Now we have one more little finisher here. Three more like this. Last time. Hold at midline, both hands become come behind your head. And now it's the left leg that on an exhale is going to extend to meet the right. Inhale, bring it in. Hold that right leg at a hover as the left leg extends out to meet it. Bring it in, you're almost there. Exhale, press. Inhale, bend it in. We're gonna finish with a hold. Final two. Next time that left leg extends, hold both legs long. Could you lower the legs just one inch? Could you curl up a little higher? You're here for four. Hold for three, two, one, both knees bend in, lower your head, both feet to the mat. Arms down by your side, we're gonna take that from the top, other side. So this time your right foot is going to stay planted on the mat, lift your left knee up to that hovering tabletop, and on an exhale, press your left leg forward. Inhale, bring it back in. So this first movement, it might not feel super challenging, super hard, but sometimes it's the simplest movements that are the most important. So we're trying to establish the connection to our deep stabilizing core muscles. So use your breath, exhale, push. As you exhale, there's almost a widening across your lower abdominal wall. Now, next time you press that left leg long, hold it at that hover. 
As you inhale, you're gonna shift the left leg to the left. Exhale, draw it into midline. Inhale, shifts. Exhale, back to midline. Now, don't bring it so wide to the side that this right hip lifts off of the mat, okay? So pelvis is staying neutral and stabilized. Notice, is your right knee wobbling at it all? Press the foot into the mat, grounding down. Now we're gonna ramp up the intensity coming up. Both knees will come to that hovering tabletop. Two more. Keep reaching long through that left heel. Last time. Now bring that knee into tabletop on an exhale. Right knee comes up to tabletop as well. Hands behind your head and we're gonna come into our ab curl position. Now from here, I want you to take your right arm and reach it up towards the ceiling. As you exhale, left leg, right arm, extend in opposite directions. Inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, press that left heel away. Inhale, back in. So you can always modify by keeping both hands behind your head, or if necessary, you can lower your head down to the mat. And again, don't stress about how low the leg is getting. Check in, do you still have that neutral curve to your low back? If you're feeling pressure in the low back, you might find a slight imprint position. It's not a tuck, but it is a subtle elongation through the low back, just so that you're more supported. Next time you extend that leg out straight, hold it straight. All right, now here we go. Left leg is going to hinge out to the left, Exhale, back to midline. Inhale, shifts to the side. Exhale, back in. Now check in with this right knee. Where is it? If it's all the way over your belly button, can you send it out just an inch further so it's over your hips? Easier said than done. Keep reaching long through that left heel. Gaze is at your knees. Coming up, we are going to hold that left leg at midline. Right leg will do the moving. Both hands can come behind your head. Last two. Last time. Bring it to midline, both hands behind the head. Now on an exhale, right leg extends out to meet the left. Inhale, bring it back in. Hands are supporting your head, so you shouldn't feel strained in your neck but if you do, you can lower the head down to the mat. Don't worry about how low the legs are. Mine are very high so that I can maintain that neutral low back. We have one hold to finish coming up. Next time that right leg extends out, hold. Could you curl up a little higher? Could you drop the legs one inch lower? Hold and breathe. For four, three, two, one, draw the knees and lower the heads. Give your knees a gentle hug in towards your chest. Now from here, we're gonna plant down through the feet. Heels are under your knees, arms down by your side. We're gonna come into a hip bridge position. So you're gonna drive the feet into the mat. Make sure they're not too wide, okay? About sitting bones distance apart. Drive the feet into the floor. Lift your hips up into your long hip bridge position. So in this hold, let's just check in that we have a neutral spine. So we're not flaring open through the rib cage and letting our hips dip down. We're really reaching our tailbone long, firing into the glutes, pressing our feet down in towards the mat, connected to our rib cage by using the abdominals. From here, let's start with just a little pulse. Hips lower and lift. They lower, exhale, squeeze and lift. So we're coming up into the start of our long sequence, focusing on the left side of the body. We're gonna start on the left today. So we have some single leg hip bridge work here coming up. Then we'll do some standing sliding leg work. And that'll take us into some oblique work that will be plank based. Next time those hips pulse up, I want you to hold. Now really grounding down through that left foot, I want you to lift your right knee up into a tabletop. On an exhale, you're gonna extend the leg straight and inhale, bring it back in. Exhale, extend it straight, inhale back in. Now, as you do this, you're continuing to really lift up through that left hip, keeping the hips level to the ceiling, staying long through the waist so that you don't crunch up on one side. 
Next time you extend that leg long, hold it straight. Now you can probably guess what's coming up. I want you to shift that leg to the right and then exhale, bring it back in. Now our right leg is moving, but we're focusing on the stability of that left side. So you have to really push the foot into the mat, keep lifting up through the glutes. Few more like this, you can do it. Last time, bend the right knee, return the foot to the mat, keep the hips lifted. Let's go back into our pulses, both feet down. Little pulse down and up. We're gonna go through that just one more time. If you need to lower the hips for a second and take a breather, now would be the time to do that. Lower and lift. Really think about what's happening with the glutes when you do this. They're elongating as you lower, they're contracting as you lift. Now, next time you pulse those hips up, hold. Okay, really squeeze through the seat, reach your tailbone long, and let's lift that left knee, or sorry, that right knee up off to tabletop. Exhale, kick that right leg straight. Inhale, bend it back in. Really ground down through your arms. You're using them to help you. Next time you extend that right leg straight, hold it straight, let's go. Shift it to the right, bring it back into midline. Now I don't want that left knee to wobble as you do this shift. So this is all about stability while we move in and out. Three more. Last time, hold parallel, lift the hips up one inch higher, you got it. We're gonna stand up, we're gonna grab that slider. You're holding for four. Three, two, both feet down, lower your hips, hands behind the thighs, rock yourself up to standing. I'm just gonna fold my mat so that it is out of the way. So your left foot is gonna be on the floor, your right foot is going to be on your glider. Square your hips, lift your back right heel up high, and then I want you to come down about, not to your lowest lunge, maybe about halfway down. Now we're gonna hold this position on the left leg while our right leg is going to sweep out to the side, almost like you're coming into a side lunge position, and then just sweep that right leg back square. So there is barely any weight on this right foot, okay? Heel is lifted, notice it's really just my toes that are on it. Focusing on stabilizing through this left side. So make sure that the knee isn't wobbling as best you can. So you have to really spread out through the toes. Now, as you do this sweep, I want you to keep reaching that left hip back, okay? It's gonna to wanna to creep forward, but I want you to stay as stable through the pelvis as possible so that it's really just this right thigh, this right leg moving within that hip joint. Now, next time you sweep that leg back, I want you to hold so you're in a back lunge position. We have a little combo. I want you to slide lower into your back lunge as low as you can get. I want you to come up just halfway. I want you to give me one sweep of that right leg out to the side, back behind you. We sink low in this lunge. Press that left foot into the floor, come up, but just halfway. Sweep that right leg out, keep pushing that left hip back and forward. So when you do the sweep, before you even start it, think left hip draws back and stays back, stabilize through that leg, sweep it forward and back. You got it. Sweep it out, bring it back, sink it low, come up, you got it. You have two more. Low to the bottom, up halfway, sweep to the side. You don't have to go at the same pace as me, Head back. Last time though, wherever you are, you're gonna meet me in the back lunge position, so slide that leg back behind you. Now make sure your hips are square, and I want you to start shifting your weight forward so you get lighter and lighter through this back right leg until it lifts up. Now you're not locked out through your standing left knee. There's a little invisible softness. Hold. We have a combo. It's going to be a deadlift with a back lunge. On my count, you're gonna come upright. That back right foot is gonna land on the slider in three, two, one. As you come slightly upright, that back foot lands on the slider. Sink back into your lunge. As you come up out of it, that back foot releases. Woo, hinge it forward, you got it. And up, 
feeling a little shaky here. This is where we finish up our left leg, okay? We still have some work for the obliques on the left side, but it won't be as intense for the legs. Back lunge, come up, but don't lock out the standing left leg. Release that right foot and hinge. Keep a long neutral spine when you do that hinge. Now you have one more and then we're gonna hold that hinge one final time. Low back lunge, come up, start to hinge, release that right foot from the floor. Reach your right leg long, maybe the arms airplane behind you. You're brought across the collarbones, core is engaged. Hold in balance, we're gonna to come to a plank position. This time your left foot will be on the slider in three. Hold for two, Woo! and one. Hands come down and now it's your left foot that is on the glider, your right foot is on the floor. We're gonna start with a windshield wiper slide. So that left knee is gonna come across to the right, circle it over to the left elbow, and then extend it back straight. Again, keep going in that circular direction. So we're keeping our foot down on the floor, but you're trying to stay very light through that left foot. So yes, we're uh, going into core work, but also I think it feels really good doing this one after that leg work, just to kind of get some uh, movement through that left hip joint. Switch the direction of your circles. So in towards the left elbow, across to the right elbow, circle it back straight. At any point, if you need to modify, just hold a plank with your knees down. One more circling. Now, next time your left knee crunches into the left elbow, hold it there and pick your foot off of the towel. You're just gonna windshield wiper. Swish the knee over to the right elbow, back to the left elbow. Swish and back, you got it. Stay strong through your right leg. Pressing the floor away. Two more. Last time. Now hold that knee in towards the elbow. Now I want you to take your right heel and drop it to the left. You're gonna open up into a side plank. Left knee comes down to the floor. You're mirroring me. From here, on an exhale, you're gonna pick that left knee up, squeeze it in towards your top right knee. So a little bit of adduction. Let me just move away from my couch. This is where you finish our side series, okay? You can do it. Exhale. Make sure you're staying strong through this bottom shoulder. You're not sinking into it, so really push the floor away. You're gonna give me four more. Last time, you're gonna hold to finish. Left knee squeezing in towards right. Make sure your hips are square, so you might need to pull the right hip forward a little bit. Hold for three, two, one. Oh, knees down, and let's just take a counter stretch. So you can take that left arm, whoo, sweep it up and over to the side. Okay, we gotta do that whole thing on the right. So if you folded your mat to get it out of the way, you'll just extend it long. We're gonna come back into that glute bridge position. All right, let's do this. We're gonna find our hip bridge position. Feet are about sitting bones distance apart and heels are under knees. Don't bring them too close into your butt or it's gonna bother your knees. Arms down by your side, press your feet into the floor, fire through the seat, lift up into that long hip bridge position. So we are open through the front of our hips and you wanna maintain this openness. Resist the urge to let the hips gradually fall down. All right, really fire through those, the seat. Let's start with those little pulses, down and up. So you know what to expect. We've already done the sequence. Sometimes that makes it worse because <laughs> you know what you have to get through. But you did it once, you can do it again. And the good news is once we complete this side, that really takes us right into our final little quick chunk of class. Next time the hips lift up, hold. That right foot it is gonna be our stabilizer and I want you to pick the left knee up to tabletop. Hips are still level. On an exhale, left leg extends straight. Inhale, crunch it back and exhale, reach. Oh. 
Keep reaching that right hip up. Keep the hips level to the ceiling. So as we reach the right hip up, don't let the left drop down. And next time you extend that left leg long, hold it long. Ready? We're gonna shift it to the left. Exhale into midline. Really reach through the heel, okay? The leg is long. Don't flare open through your rib cage. Your abdominals are working. You can do it, just three more. Last time. Bend the left knee, foot to the mat, back to our pulses, down an inch, up an inch, down and up. Again, if you need to take a quick breather and drop those hips to the mat for a second, now is the time to do it. We're gonna go through that just one more time, finishing with that quick hold. So again, the theme today, it's the stabilizing side. As the limbs move away and back in, can we stabilize through the core and that grounding right leg? Hold the hips up top. Now you're gonna pick that left knee into tabletop. On an exhale, you press that leg straight. Inhale it back in. Now without actually changing the position of the legs, picture there's a magnet between the two thighs just drawing ever so slightly into midline throughout the movement. Really press your arms into the floor, okay? It's not cheating to use your arms, they're stabilizing. Next time that leg goes straight, you hold it long. You shift it wide to the left. You exhale, you bring it back to center. Keep pushing up through that right hip, you can do it. Again, long through both sides of your waist. So it's like I'm standing at your feet and gently pulling that leg towards me. We're gonna finish with a hold. That leg is gonna come into midline and you are gonna hold it last time. Out to the side, back to center, hold. Could you lift the hips up one inch higher? Reach through that heel. Hold for four, for three, for two, and one. Hips lower, hands behind your thighs. Roll yourself up to standing. Get the mat out of the way if you are using one. We're gonna come into our sliding work. So now your right foot is gonna be on the floor. Your left foot is going to be on your glider. Square the hips, lift that back left heel up, and you're gonna lower down about halfway, okay? This is where we start. Hands can come in front of you, and we have that sweep of our left leg while we stabilize on the right. So you're not in your lowest possible lunge. Hip hinge back, long and open through the torso. Just focusing on stabilizing through this right side as our left leg moves away and draws back in the theme we've seen all throughout class. Now again, as this left leg is moving, what's going on with your right hip? Think of pulling it back so that the hips stay square. Notice, it's gonna wanna shift. You're gonna wanna kinda crunch side to side. Don't let that happen. I want a stable pelvis as the leg sweeps. Now be honest with yourself, if that right leg is almost straight, could you slide the hips back a little further? Just get a smidge lower for me. We have our combo coming up, so next time you sweep that left leg back, hold it back. You're gonna get lower in your lunge. Lowest lunge you can. Come up, but only halfway. Give me that sweep. I'm just gonna move forward so I don't hit my mat. Sweep it back. Sink lower, I know it burns. Up, but only halfway. One sweep, you got it. You're constantly leveling through the hips. I know I have to adjust after every couple reps. You'll notice I have my right hand actually on my right hip, almost as a tactile cue to think of drawing it back, 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 just so that they stay square. You have three more. Last time. Sweep it back into your back lunge position. Hips are level. Now I want you to start to shift forward. You're gonna release that left foot off the mat. Woo! Holding this deadlift. We have our combo, one deadlift, one back lunge. Brought across those collarbones. Pull your left hip down a smidge so the hips stay level. Three, two, with control, that left foot lands back on your slider. Sink to your lowest lunge. As you come up to the top, don't walk out this right knee. Release the left foot from the slider, go into your hinge. Keep this combo going, you got it. 
I don't care about speed, okay? Now I keep saying go down to your lowest lunge, but it's your lowest lunge without just sinking into your hip flexors, okay? Make sure you're keeping the hinge forward with your torso so my shoulders are over that knee. And I'm not going so low that it feels like a stretch for my hip flexors. You got it, guys. A few more full range reps. We have one final hold, and then we will come down into that plank position. I'm gonna poke my eye out on my plant. <laughs> one day, guys, I'm gonna have a house, and I'm gonna have a room dedicated to shooting these workouts. This is gonna be so nice. Until then, my apartment will have to do. All right, guys, next time up, we have that hold. You can do it. Don't walk out your right leg. Reach your left leg long. Hinge forward, maybe arms airplane behind you and just hold. Reach your right hip back just a smidge. Hold. Four, you're in a plank in three. You got it. Two and one. Woo. Hands to the floor. Now your right foot is on the glider. Right foot glider, left foot floor. Reach long through those heels. So you're gonna take your right knee across to the left elbow and back. So you're making little circles. I always think of the karate kid. It's kind of like wax on, wax off here. Also just getting some nice movement within that right hip joint. One more. And then you're just gonna switch direction. So right knee in towards the right elbow, across to the left. Stay active through your stationary left leg. So you're squeezing through the quads. And you're staying light through that right foot so there isn't a ton of weight on the glider. Now next time that right knee comes into the right elbow, hold it, lift your foot off the glider and you're gonna windshield wiper side to side. Now you're keeping the knee as close and towards the elbow as possible but that's gonna mean something different for everyone. Just don't let it come all the way back here, okay? Really think of maintaining that contraction, drawing it forward. We're gonna open up into that side plank modification next. So this left heel is gonna to drop to the right. In three, last two, give me one more. Drop your left heel to the right right knee comes down open up into a side plank on that right side really press your top left foot into the floor and on an exhale that bottom right knee is gonna squeeze up and into the left and lower so working the inner thighs here and the obliques you can do it if you need to pause at the bottom for a second pause at the bottom and then go into your next rep when you can make sure the hips are staying square so you kind of have to take that top left hip and drop forward slightly. Four more and then we hold. Lift on the exhale. This next time we hold to finish. Brought across the collarbones, hips are stacked. You can do it. Four, three, two and one knees down let's take that quick counter stretch Woo. right arm sweeps up and over all right last section of class coming up we have some prone work Woo. so to set up for this if you're using your mat you want to stretch it long but you want to have some space in front of it as well for the slider so notice i'm going to push mine back so that i have just a foot or so of room to glide and if you're using a towel you're going to unfold it so that it is long so that both hands can come onto it. All right, let's lay down on our stomach. And I want you to take your feet a little wider than hips distance apart and slightly externally rotate them so the toes point out towards the edges a little bit. Now you should have enough space for your arms to extend out overhead on that towel. Back of your neck is long. You're gonna start with that nose just hovering over the mat. Now, I want us to connect to the area under our armpits. So before we even start moving, I really want you to press your hands firmly down into your towel 
put a little more pressure on the pinky side of the hand. And then ever so slightly, those shoulder blades just dial down your spine a little bit. Now that we're connected into the lats on an exhale, I want you to glide the towel for you, from, towards you as you come up into extension. And then as you inhale, you're gonna lower down. Now I'm exhaling as I lift up so that I can better maintain the connection to my abdominals. But if you would rather inhale as you lift, absolutely fine with me. I want you to do what works best for your body. So you'll notice I'm coming up a little higher than I might in a normal extension. That is because I have my hands down on the mat, but I'm not sinking into my low back. I'm using my abs to really maintain a fairly neutral position through my lumbar spine. So if you are feeling this all in your low back, I only want you to come up a couple inches, okay? Only come up as high as you can maintain that connection to your abdominal wall. So hopefully you feel the whole back side of your arm really fired up. Next time you lift up, you're gonna hold. Now from here, you're just gonna bend the elbows, they tap the mat, and you're gonna straighten them back up. You're working so hard to stay connected to your core. Now your gaze is looking forward, not up, okay? So maintain a bit of length through the back of the neck. Ooh, triceps are talking to you. They're talking to me anyway. My friend, Kara Duval, who is an amazing Pilates instructor, does these a lot in her classes and they get me every time. So credit to her for this move. Stay broad across your collarbones. Next time you press those arms up, hold, let's go back to the slide. Second and final set, extend it back down and up. Now this is a very active slide. So even as the arms come forward, you're still thinking of pressing your hands down into the floor. Don't go limp. Make sure you're breathing. Connect into that abdominal wall before you even start to lift up. Next time up, you're gonna hold for our second and final set of those tricep dips. Hold at the top, little bend and press. Elbows tap and lift. If this bothers your low back, you can do tricep dips in a tabletop position instead, okay? You can do it. We're almost there. We're done with the glider for the rest of the class after this. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one, elbow straight, slide it down, ditch that glider. Now from here, body weight, I want you to come up into a much lower extension. Your arms are at a hover as well and maintaining the extension through the spine. I just want you to sweep your arms back and sweep them overhead. Feet are still down, okay? Slightly externally rotated, but we bring, will bring the lower body into the mix coming up. Okay, now next time you sweep those arms back, hands press into the sides of your hips, and I want you to reach those legs long and lift them up to a hover as well, still maintaining that slight external rotation. Now arms open out to the side as your legs open out to the side, and then on an exhale, you bring everything back to midline. How many times have I said that during today's class? Bring it to midline. Open up, heels squeeze towards each other. Don't worry if the heels actually touch. They might, they might not, mine are not. Make sure you're still breathing. We're not sinking into the low back. So the lift is really coming from the mid back, that area right under your shoulder blades. I want you to press everything back and hold. You're in one long line. Can you get a little longer? Don't think taller, think longer. For four, three, two, lower everything down. Hands under your shoulders, press yourself back into a quick shell stretch. A shell stretch is like child's pose, but active. We're rounding or flexing the spine to give the spine the opposite action of that extension we just did. <sighs> All right, guys, one final set. No towels, it's just the body weight portion. You got it. This is your last push of class. Legs find that slight external rotation. Arms reach forward, neutral through the spine. So there's a gentle lift of the abdominal wall away from the mat. You're gonna come into that long extension. So reach the top of your head and your arms so far forward that they have no choice but to lift up. Start with just the sweep. Legs stay down to start. <sighs> Oof. 
And a little trick, if you're still feeling pinching in your low back, you might need to take a towel and put it under your hip bones. If you are someone who has an excessive lower back arch, which is very common, then that can help bring your pelvis to neutral. So the hip bone would be, or the towel would be just under your two hip bones, not under your pubic bone, and that will help you maintain neutral. Next time those arms sweep back, hold them back. Now you're gonna reach the legs so long they are energized that they lift to a hover as well. Arms move out to the side as legs spread wide. Everything squeezes in. Whoo! Open it up. Squeeze it in, reaching the top of your head long. You got it. You're in your last few seconds of class. Stay strong. We're gonna finish with that hold coming up. Arms squeeze in towards your hips. Make sure you're open across your shoulders. Last time, spread it wide. Squeeze it in and hold. Can you get a little longer? Just breathe. Hold the external rotation through your legs. Squeeze the heels in towards each other. Four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. Hands under your shoulders. Press yourself back into that shell stretch first. So active child's pose for a couple breaths. Just to get that flexion. And then I want the knees to go wide and then just melt into your child's pose. So much more passive position. Take a few breaths here. Awesome work today. These classes are low impact, but so challenging. I always have to really hype myself up before filming them. All right, when you're ready, I want you to walk your hands in, come up to a kneeling position, or you can um, do cross-legged if that's more comfortable for your knees. And let's just take a fluid side bend. So one arm sweeps up and over. And then just take it to the other side. One more each side. And come through center. From here, we're gonna come up and I want you to bring your right foot forward into a lunge position. Square the hips, and then I want you to send the hips back, straightening out the front leg, flexing the foot, and fold forward, just to get a nice opening through the back side of that leg. And then when you're ready, I want you to bend into that right knee. Hands can come to the inside of it and hold this lizard lunge position. From here, it might feel good to take that right knee and kind of roll to the outer edge of your right foot, only if it feels okay for your joints though, and hold here. Flatten the foot, bring the knee up, and let's just switch over to the other side. Left foot is gonna come forward into that lunge position, square the hips, and then shift the hips back, straightening out through your front leg, flexing the foot. Fold forward into your half split position for a nice stretch through the back side of the leg. When you're ready, you're gonna bend into that left knee, bringing your hands to the inside of it. So we're in a lizard lunge position. Maybe you stay here. You could even elevate your hands on blocks if you need a little more space. If you did so on the other side and it feels okay, you're gonna drop the left knee to the left, rolling to the outer edge of that left foot ever so slightly. Flattening the foot, let's come to a comfortable seated position to finish. So I'm just gonna come cross-legged to take almost like a cat cow variation. As you inhale, I want you to sweep the arms out to the side, chest opens up, gaze shifts up slightly. And then as you exhale, just round and kind of go backwards. Open up, arms kind of like bird wings. Exhale, close. One more time. And then hands are gonna settle on your knees, sit up nice and tall and just close your eyes for a second. Just take a couple deep breaths here in stillness and silence.
And you can open your eyes when you're ready. I like finishing classes, just sitting in stillness and silence sometimes. You just kind of almost feel that energy buzzing through your body. It's just a nice way to kind of bring everything to a close. So I hope you enjoyed that class. Awesome work. I'll see you next time. Thank you.